everyone, and welcome to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to record PC games using XSplit. So, here is XSplit set up and good to go. Now, I've started on a new scene here, just scene 9 for me, whatever. It doesn't matter what it's called for you. We can name it Tutorial. And uh, go ahead in here, and let's go ahead and just add a game capture right here. Now, you can have it auto-detect, but chances are that's not going to work out too well. So what I would recommend doing is actually opening up the game that you uh, want to record, and then going back into XSplit. So let's open up XSplit here, or I'm sorry, Minecraft, that's the game we'll use to record this one just real quick. And once we're on the main menu, we can go back into XSplit. And if we right click, or if we add new rather, and then we go to game capture, we have Minecraft 1.11. So we can add that in there. Click it and drag it, and there you go. To record, you just come up here to outputs, and then click local recording, and it will record Minecraft. But what if you wanted to add another game in here? Some games are a little more tricky. For example, let's say uh, we want to play some Forza or something. So let's do Forza Horizon 3. This game is going to open up, and it's going to be a lot different and a lot harder to record than, say, um, any other game like Minecraft. Minecraft's a bit easier. So if we minimize Forza, come back over here into XSplit, we can add a game capture, and it's not there. See, Forza's not there. So what do we do? What do we do if the game isn't under game capture? Well, you could try auto-detect, and sometimes it will pull up a game like Forza in Auto Detect. But now that we're in Forza, let's go back to our desktop or open XSplit back up rather by coming over here and clicking it. Here it is. And as we can see, it didn't auto detect it. It didn't auto detect Forza. It's not there. Well, to fix that, all you'll want to do is do a screen capture instead, which means you'll capture your entire screen over here. So we'll uh, do that. Boom. And now, if we open this up, it will be in. X split. It'll be the screen, which will be in X split. It's kind of hard to explain. There's no way, I guess, for me to even show it unless I take Forza out of full screen mode, which I don't even know if it's possible to do that. I've always played Forza in full screen mode. All right, so I was able to get Forza out of full screen mode, and as you can see over here, it's on the screen. So if we have this in full screen, it'll show Forza. If we don't, it won't. There's another option. And the last way that you can record games or add games into uh, XSplit is to do a screen capture again, but this time just click on Forza. Just click on it, and there it is, right? So it's just going to show Forza on your screen now. It's not going to show everything else. The only downfall to this, it will show the white bars at the top, so you'll have to try to crop those out which you can do in XSplit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Once you're ready to record and you've got whatever game you want to play in there, either via screen capture, either via adding a game capture, or via adding just that game window, uh, all you've got to do is just go up to options and hit local recording. And there you go. It'll start recording. It'll put it in your videos folder and you'll be good to go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We make awesome videos every single day of the week. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.